Welcome back to Control. Last episode, we got the Golden Suit. And damn, does it look sharp. So, there's like a million things I want to do. But before I get too ahead of myself and start doing things that are from further in the game, I figure we started in uh, Executive. So, how about I finish looking around Executive? Looking for two things specifically. Anything that I can now reach that I couldn't before because of Levitate. And, well, actually, I guess three things. Uh, that plus anything I can now reach because we're kind of immune to the weird spore mold gas stuff. Uh, and also anything we now have security clearance for. So I'm going to go around. I'll, I'll be cutting most of it out. But I'll just bring you back when I find anything of significance. And I've already found something of significance. Just above Central Executive. There's this place, which has clearance level one. Could have opened it a long time ago. <laughs> Para-utility. Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these individuals para-utilitarians. The potency of these abilities depends on the para-utilitarian. Using the object of power as an example, some para-utilitarians can achieve a throw distance of, while others are only capable of as little as. What exactly determines an individual's paranatural competence is unknown, but it's largely believed that some exists within the body, and that like all muscles, it can be exercised. To continue my analysis, I have officially requested access to the Northmore records, considering he's one of the most accomplished para-utilitarians the Bureau has ever seen. Dr. Darling is still considering this request. Oh, oh, good dog. I wonder if that's one of the team members at Remedy, one of their dogs. Good dog. Information always been on a need to know basis. Well, I need to fucking know. I'm an upper level executive, damn it. Uh, this room isn't locked or anything, but uh, apparently I didn't get this. Pope's promotion. Dr. Darling has personally recommended Miss Pope for a promotion based on her work ethic and assistance in advancing many ongoing research matters. According to her colleagues, Pope has displayed a keen eye for detail and a quick grasp of paranatural concepts. She's professional and diligent, though some of her co-workers complain of social disinterest. The review committee approves this recommendation and promotes Miss Pope to the position of research specialist. Well deserved, in my opinion. Yeah, this whole place I didn't go to, apparently. Another thing to read. God, just look at how detailed the environments are. Like, honestly, it's amazing. Look at how lived in and real this room looks like. As an office. Kind of haphazard books everywhere. The classic using a chair as a table thing. I mean, we've all done it. I'm doing it right now. We literally use... We literally use two chairs as our nightstands next to our bed. Literally. And whatever this thing. What even is this thing? I don't know. Seriously, what is that? A gigantic projector thing? Receive. HP. Send. Collective Unconscious Collective Unconscious is defined as a form of the unconscious that is shared in all human minds. From this arises unconscious knowledge linking us through our ancestral heritage. Through this Collective Unconscious, we unknowingly attribute a series of images and archetypes to all elements of our lives. These archetypes are never fixed, but shift and change in tandem with our species and culture. This internal belief in the power of images shared by a massive population is in the creation of altered items and objects of power. The sheer amount of exuded is attracted to the best representation of that image, imbuing a single object with massive amounts of... Theoretically, places of power could likewise be formed by the simple power of sustained collective belief. 
again, going back to that that thing that we've seen uh, mentioned a lot, that belief and folklore and legends all are, even if they're not exactly necessarily real, they can actually make things real. They can all contribute to making objects of power and places of power. Another thing up here that we now have access to is this. I heard some rangers saying you saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss, and Arish got them out. All right, but still, a security guard leading rangers? I don't know if I like taking orders from a mall cop. Rude. Oh my god. What the hell? The fuck? They're all blank. That's the same painting, or at least a very similar one to the one we see in the hotel every time. there to be a note in here. Is there really not? Ah, yes, there is. Sticky note complaint. To whom it may concern, in case you are not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. I'll be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or home phone. Sincerely, Jay Bozer, Vice Chief of Staff. <laughs> okay, so it was an anomaly. Object of power, maybe the same one that made the clocks, possibly? <laughs> well, it's good that it's contained mostly to this room all- they marched through here? Why the fuck didn't we put a bullet in that Shut the fuck head? up. It, you see it, uh, kind of came out a little bit around the door. No one's brother anymore. He's the enemy. Okay, so I think there might be some stuff here. Some stuff that I couldn't access before. Remember this room? This is where we fought Tomasi. Well, there seems to be a whole area up there that we could, I'm sure, get to through Levitate that I couldn't get to before. Although there's a ladder there. Could I have gotten to that? Maybe that's only for getting down, not for getting up, because it doesn't reach the floor. Oh, hey! There's a note here, too. Tea time. Hey, Malcolm. Yes, tea time is at 7. I'll see you at the course on Sunday morning. By the way, have you heard about this Tennyson report? Apparently there's a bunch of copies drifting around the office. Trench is looking to get his hands on any information about who wrote it. You wouldn't happen to have heard anything about that, would you? See you Sunday, Jim. And no, I have not forgot about that place. That place that has the mold stuff that hurts me. 
that I tried to get the box in there. Like, I tried to open the box in there, and I actually succeeded. So I don't think there is anything in there for me now, but I'm definitely going to check it out now. Oh, there could be more stuff up there in the rafters. Do we not just look so fucking stylish in this suit, floating around with a gun in our hands and launching things everywhere? It looks so fucking cool, so badass. I love it. Let's go check out that place right now. Okay, so yeah, we can withstand this now, right? Yes. Yeah, this is the one that I managed to open. Is there any notes in here? No? How is it? Oh, I already see what I need to get. Uh, so I just went from... Right where we actually just went in there. And this leads to... What does it lead to? Communications department or something? Anyway, you probably remember this place. It's got these really weird cubes. And there's something up in the rafters. Oh, look at us shine. Oh my god. Whoa. What's the hidden location that I discovered? Just being on top of these? Cool, I'll take it, thanks. Anyway, look at us shine. Really? So fucking badass. this game. Okay. How do I get there exactly? It's actually kind of tricky. I can get high enough, but then I'm blocked by all sorts of stuff and I can't lose height and then gain it. Um, I think I just have to go from here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, here's something new. We are in... Dead Letters? Yeah, we're in Dead Letters. Level 2 security thing over there. Also, we have three ability points. 
Is that enough to get the final level of launch? Yes, it is. Heck yeah, maxed out. Fake planes. Dear New York Tribune, airplanes aren't real. I figured out how they do it. The windows are TV screens. The whole thing moves on big tracks like a roller coaster that moves through underground tunnels in the earth. Airports are more like train stations. They do this because the sky is full of monsters that they don't want us to know about. The planes we see in the sky are the monsters. The government made the earth trains look like the monsters so they could lie to us better. Don't contact me. And they intercepted that here? That letter to the Tribune? Huh. Hmm. There's some whole upper world here. You see all that? Were we able to go there through some other way? Or is that all completely unexplored? <sighs> oh, I also need to answer a question that I keep forgetting to check out. Can I land... Oh. Note. But first, can I land on people? Oh. Really? All I did was just... Uh. Okay, like I was doing. Yeah, there is collision, but can I stay on them? Ah! Or are they kind of slippery to make sure that you have to fall off of them? That happens sometimes. When there's objects, they don't... Yeah, they don't want you to be on them, so they just kind of like force to kick you off. machine god. I had a dream and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain god, but not the god you know or the ones anyone knows. A new god. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body. Like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. We <laughs> had to use the dialing plate on God. That's a good excuse. Fair. Okay, yeah, have we... We have not been up here at all. Where's that coming from? There. Get out of here, probably copyrighted music. Smoking ban. Dear elected official, thanks to the recent smoking ban in my state, I'm happy to inform you I will not be voting for you in the next election. As everyone knows, smoking is being banned because the smoke is toxic to the aliens that the government sold our planet to in a secret deal. If humans keep smoking, the aliens won't be able to live on Earth. Our air would be poison to them. If you government traders can't stop people from smoking, then you won't get your millions of dollars from the aliens. I have a website. People know what's going on. We're going to keep smoking no matter what. This is a national emergency. Politicians are handing the planet over to alien overlords. We won't let you. We will resist. 
I will smoke forever. Signed, a proud smoker slash rebel slash patriot. And there's so much extra stuff to find if you go back over areas. I love it. White Kitchen. Dear gentlemen of the Society of Sciences, it has been some time since I sent my initial letter. I hope it's not the case that you've dismissed my claims outright. In that hope, I am writing to you once more to ask for your help in understanding the oddity that has befallen me in my home. I've recently begun renting a new apartment in the city. The space is nothing special, though for a time I found the isolation quite soothing. Recently, I've begun experiencing a strange occurrence. When I'm in my kitchen, a tiny little thing with not much but a sink, I sometimes lose myself. My surroundings change. I find myself standing on strange dark stone. I stare out at a colorless sky as white as undisturbed snow, terrified of moving. Perhaps this is a brain issue. I think not as it feels terribly real. This has been occurring for some months now and I've become frightened of entering the kitchen. If it's not too much of an inconvenience, I would clearly, uh, dearly appreciate a visit from one of your professionals to see what they make of it. I wait a response with little expectation, but with great hope. Very truly yours, Lorraine Fitzgerald. Standing on strange, dark stone and a colorless sky as white as undisturbed snow. That sounds like the astral plane, doesn't it? Pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a. Okay, that's weird. It's just that over and over again, but something's been redacted, which implies that it's something other than the thing that's been repeated over and over again. Huh. My clock is shaped like a cat and its eyes move and I think it's angry, but I keep apologizing and I won't stop, but I said I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I won't leave me alone. Uh, its eyes move very fast. Uh, hmm. It's not much there to go off of, huh? It's pretty unhinged. Oh my god, that looks so cool. I gotta look straight up there from the center in a minute. <laughs> Just ripped it. Or actually, we didn't rip it, did we? Just stretched really, really far. Vivid dreams to the esteemed members of the American Psychiatric Council. 
I am writing you to inquire about the significance of dreams in relation to one's mental health. I am aware that there are many books purporting to contain the true meanings of dreams, but I have reservations about their legitimacy. I understand that this is not usually done, but if I would greatly, uh, if if I would greatly appreciate your thoughts on my condition. I that doesn't make sense as a sentence. Um, Ever since I was young, I have had intensely vivid dreams. They only occur sporadically, but in them I witness very strange events. I understand dreams can seem real at the time, but these feel markedly different. They do not occur often, perhaps only one or two a year. Last night I had one. I saw a small empty town. It was utterly dark. There was a lake at its center. Shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things. A bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes before I woke. Because of this recent, recent incident, I've decided to seek help. The doctor says I'm physically fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. Thank you for your valuable time. Yours very sincerely, Richard Boker. Small empty town, dark, lake at its center, shadows of people. They're talking about Alan Wake, which has been officially canonized in the notes of this game to actually be a place a real place where altered world events have happened <laughs> our whereabouts hey you have questions and the prophets have your answer. If you are truly intrigued, watch the time. We've lost about 45 days in the past four years. The shortening of days, this is why the Vatican is a sundial and also simultaneously a keyhole. Another thing while I'm here, if you want the secret to everything, compare plasma next to brain cells. The sun plus moon are composed of plasma. Simply light, not planets. After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of where you, I, and humanity reside. Cheers! God, that's terrifying looking. It looks like it just goes up to infinity. Um... Like, there's levels to it that I might be able to get into. If so, I'm going up there, but... I need something higher to jump off of. These, perhaps? this lip? No. Oh. It's tricky. Because it's not just about height. I also need to be close enough to the center that I can do this and not bonk my head. Even this isn't quite high enough, though. Like, this would certainly be high enough, but I'm going to get stuck in the rafters before I get over there. And then if I go down, I can't go back up. Oh, fuck! Jesus. There's that lower lip right there, though. I should be able to get there pretty easily, right? doesn't quite reach. Look, just give me something to stand on. Oh, Jesus. Something else. Oh. 
Uh, what? The hell? Does this thing have any real collision? Okay, give me something more solid, please. You too? I'm starting to wonder if there's an invisible wall here keeping me from going higher, but... Maybe not. Yeah, I don't think there is. I just don't know why none of the objects I'm grabbing seem to be solid. Right, surely you're solid. <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh, there is an invisible wall. There must be, because I didn't gain any additional height. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Okay. Whoa, what? What the hell? Something very odd just happened. Hold on. Let me get back there. Going up to the very center and trying to look up. I try... I'm mo <clears throat> Let me pause. I'm moving my mouse up to try to look up, and this is what's happening when I do that. It's moving it sideways until I start to come down. It's like my view is hitting the top of a bounding box and making it be really weird or something. Anyway. Such a strange, fascinating things. Sorry, I was just noticing that you could totally climb up those. But there's nothing actually up there. In the cafeteria now. And remember this? This place where if we walked towards it, it would start to hurt us really badly? That was a long time ago. Apparently it's the nostalgia department. Can we go there now? Nope. Okay, question though. We have a lot of health now. It's not hurting me that fast. What happens? What happens is it starts to hurt you faster and faster as you get closer. Okay. Welp. Uh, I'm gonna call that executive... 100% done? Just ranger buddies. I should find the others. Ah, right. We have a quest for that. Arisha's ranger buddies. I'll make that an active quest. What were the other locations? Black Rock Quarry, coolant pumps, energy converters, Black Rock processing, Atlas Chamber. Oh, so that's all in maintenance. Yeah, it's all in maintenance. Okay, well, I plan on visiting every place in maintenance now anyway to see if I missed anything, so... I think I'd like to get that novella off the side of my screen. Boop. Bring you back when I find something. Oh, hey, it's two seconds later. I found something. <laughs> Just right over here. A place that I definitely could not go before. Wait a second. Uh, actually, I don't want to switch out my weapon forms in case I have to redo all the um, 
weapon mods again, but I just realized something for the first time. I, I've always unconsciously recognized that the crosshair changes when you switch weapon forms. However, what I never consciously realized is that the crosshair actually it doesn't just change, but the shape of it represents the shape of the weapon. Like, look at this. For this thing, I mean, well, kind of don't have to explain it, right? You can see the comparison. That's really cool. Ooh, here's something new. Anything new with you? That's the reason they can go as far as Pepper Cross. What are you mumbling about? Oh, hey. It's back. What would kill a bad day? You need to scrap that glee. They are very good listeners. You can tell them anything. Or you can sing to them. They like that. I forgot that there was a board there to pick up orders from Eradicate the Mold in Containment Medical Wing. Talk to the plants. Research, central research. Do we, uh, do we get anything for maintenance? God, we have a lot of quests. Containment. Pump station. Yeah, maintenance, pump station. Okay. Ah, oh, it's off of the NSC coolant pumps, that place with question marks over it, so we never visited that. At the power plant place now. Now that we can levitate, we should have no trouble getting to the top. just spawn. I think I heard spawns. Yes. This is our first time up this high. Wonder what's at the tippy top. <gasps> oh my god. That's a that's a fire TV. There's a fire TV. So they aren't all in the furnace room. Oh. These go far and wide. The mystery deepens. I'm so glad I didn't Google if that's really a thing. But, I mean, this makes it even more clear. It must be a thing. But am I going to be able to find all of them if they're not even all inside the furnace room? God, I don't know. Hidden location. Surfboard object. <laughs> no unique procedures required. Any attempts to abuse the object's effects for personal gain will result in termination. An antique surfboard believed to originate from the 1960s due to its design. The item enhances self-confidence when touched. 
The item came to the Bureau's attention through a popular nationwide tour of speaking engagements advertising the item as a proven miracle worker, especially for those afflicted by personal shortcomings. This self-help course was called The Power of the Board, created and operated by a man named Chester Bless. Numerous attendees experienced an immediate surge in optimism and daring after touching the item. Once the craze reached a fever pitch, with events attracting thousands of people, the Bureau took action. Agents raided Mr. Bless's Los Angeles home only to find the house empty and the man gone. Only the item remained in the house, in plain sight. What the hell? Where did they go? Is the item responsible for disappearing them? So, let's get this to the furnace chamber, gingerly. Like, if I drop it into the void, will it respawn? I don't know. Probably. For all I know, this could be the last one. I doubt it, though. I'm assuming that's what you're supposed to do with them, is throw them into the fire. It seems like the only sensible thing. The fact that there were two in this room highly suggests that it's related to the furnace, plus obviously it has a fire on it. And like, what else would you do with it? Given that we know this thing is supposedly alive. No, this has got to be what you're supposed to do. Now the question is, do I explore this place because I'm here, or... Or what? I guess, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's see if I can make any more sense of what was going on here. So I know we got this TV. I know that there's a hole there, which seems to lead nowhere. Nowhere that I can access from the other sides, anyway. <laughs> Gotta be on the lookout for TVs. Uh, I was never able to get to these areas. Although there seems to be nothing in them. Yeah, the, wherever that hole is that goes down just doesn't seem to exist. Over here, right? No. Okay, well, I'm gonna thoroughly search the room now that I can levitate for any more TVs. But there might not be any more here, because they could be anywhere in maintenance, apparently. Shit! What now? My old enemy, the Glock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. We got him caught with his hand in the fist trap. Get rid of him. 
You got it. Oh. Oh, God. Fuck. Jesus. I want to see how far I can climb up this thing. There's a limit. I can't go any higher. Oh! <laughs> That's a death plane. <laughs> I did not know that. That's weird. Let's try that again. How you get to this higher level up here yeah there was two issues with this higher level one is just how to get there and the other was how to survive it because it would have killed me but now i can do both <laughs> <laughs> 